George Romanus was born in Kingston, Ontario on May 20, 1848. At the age of two, George and his family left Canada and moved to Britain after his father inherited a family fortune. As George grew up, he initially thought of becoming a clergyman, but decided to study science instead after winning a scholarship for college in Cambridge. It was here that George befriended Charles Darwin. George was the youngest of Charles Darwin's academic friends. They were very close, so close that Darwin gave George his notebook on animal behavior. It was from this book that George Ramonas decided that he wanted to accomplish what Darwin had done for the body but for the mind instead. George Ramonas wrote three books from 1882 to 1888 to provide evidence for this. His book on animal intelligence written in 1882 focused on gathering evidence of behavior, memory, communication, and emotion. His second book, published in 1883, titled Mental Evolution in Animals, tried to relate collected data of animal behavior with evolutionary theory. The third book of this set, titled Mental Evolution in Man, was published in 1888, tried to argue that the minds of non-human animals and the minds of man were similar, with only quantitative differences. However, it was from George Ramones's first book of animal intelligence that piqued the interest of C. Lloyd Morgan. C. Lloyd Morgan was born on February 6, 1852 in London, England. He was interested in becoming a mining engineer. While studying this field, he met Thomas Huxley and the two traveled to America for three months. Thomas Huxley influenced Morgan to take a deeper look into Darwin's origin of species, thus leading him down the path to George Ramonas. See Lloyd Morgan, who is most famous for Morgan's canon, published a book titled Introduction to Comparative Psychology, six years after Ramonas's Mental Evolution in Man. In this book, Morgan criticized Ramonas for his use of anecdotalism by claiming that there needed to be more experimental evidence. However, this was not the first time Morgan pointed a flaw to Romanus. In 1883, he referenced the scorpion anecdote that was published in Animal Intelligence. In this, Romanus had claimed that a trapped scorpion will flare its tail and plunge it into its own back, thus committing suicide. However, Morgan claims that there is a simpler explanation to why the scorpion behaved so, such as the heat of the candle caused the muscles in the tail to curl. The scorpion speech was the only criticism that Morgan had published of Romanus's work. Morgan continued, however, to follow his work until Romanus's death on May 23, 1894. That same year, Morgan published his book, Introduction to Comparative Psychology, and from this, Morgan's canon was born, which held the idea that animal behavior should be described simply and without the use of human terms, thus contradicting the scorpion suicide idea further. The attributes of the scorpion behavior to a human move such as suicide is not the simplest method. <laughs>